removing the clutch cable. After disconnecting the battery, which I'm not doing, but it's advised, you start at the transmission side, that's the clutch cable. Uh, that right there, it's a 14 millimeter nut. I've already pulled the boot back. I'm going to put a vice, uh, vice grips there to hold it sta stable while I um, well, uh, take this nut off. Next, unclip it from there. Unclip it from right there. It's, it's just a hook, so you just pop it out. There's another clip hook right there. Just pop it out of that spot. Unbolt it. There's two bolts uh, right down there. You can see one. The one, the other one's on the other side of it. And that's on the firewall. Then you go inside the vehicle. From under the driver's side dash, above the gas pedal, there's a lever that connects from the clutch pedal to a bar. And then that right there is the other end of the clutch cable. And you release it from that. Fortunately, since this is a 98, uh, 98 and earlier are all mechanical clutches, so there is no master or slave cylinder to deal with. So it's just the cable. I had to scoot this rubber boot back, put the vice grips on one side of the cable, and that nut, if you have a deep well socket, 14 millimeter, that's perfect, but I don't have one of those. So I'm using a regular 14 millimeter socket and I have a 9 16th wrench. I've removed it, put the nut back on so none of the hardware gets lost. What you do is you pull it towards the front of the vehicle and then slide it out of that clip there. So just pop it out of the hook, that next hook there, the hook up there, and then unbolt it from the firewall. Okay, it took me a moment to figure this out. All right, so the clutch cable's connected up here. Feeling around, I couldn't find anything bolting it or, or some kind of uh, ring, uh, uh, snap ring on there. But what I ended up doing, and I apologize, I'm, ups I'm actually upside down doing this, so the video's upside down. The clutch, since the clutch cable has been released, the pedal goes down to the floor, which gives me a little slack. There is an opening at the top of this lever. So what you do is line up the, this end of the cable, make sure that there's a metal piece at the end of the cable itself and make sure it's not hitting anything. Rotate this uh, up and over this lever. There's a slot here that it'll slide out of. And there we go. And it might have to be cleaned and re-greased before install. Um, there is a, something here. Now that it is out, there's a little rubber boot that goes in the firewall. Just uh, push that towards the front of the car and it will slide right out. And back at the firewall. And it came right out. Yeah, I've placed the new cable. I am connecting this one up over and then down. Just for the heck of it, putting the pedal back in place. I've bolted the new one up to the firewall and ran it back the same route that the old one was. I've placed the new clutch cable, uh, put the old spring washer and nut on, on this new cable. Uh, I started with just a little bit and the pedal was still loose. Um, it still had no contact whatsoever. Um, I tightened this down to where the cable is no longer drooping a little and the pedal seems decently tight. I might have to adjust. So my pedal actually has resistance now. So um, pretty much adjust as needed and test drive. Now make sure you snap all of the clips in place. There were three in this case. Otherwise you run the risk of 
your new clutch cable running into a belt. Also verify that the cable is not hitting anything vital or moving, so there's no chance of damage. And with the exception of that clip that I need to push it in, it seems fine. Pressing. Releasing. Pressing. Releasing. Pressing. Releasing. Halfway. All the way. Releasing halfway. All the way.